morning and welcome to day 20. It is day 20, I think. Um, it's Sunday and I've already been back to bed uh, with an iron brew feeling a bit rubbish. Um, and I'm definitely paying the price for getting out of bed and going out last night. But um, yeah, fingers crossed I'll be on the up at some point. I'm going to have my ginger shot in a minute and Dan's just making bacon sandwiches. Um, we have a surprise happening today, so I'm going to go to a secret location to tell you about it. Right, I'm hiding upstairs so I can tell you that um, we have a surprise visitor today for Lilia. Her best friend from primary school moved at the end of year six, which is the last year of primary school. She moved down to Folkestone, which is on the Kent coast. So they didn't end up going to the same secondary school. Um, but they've always kept in touch in the uh, two and a half years since uh, primary school ended. We get them together in the holidays and when we can. Anyway, she's coming today. Lilia has no idea. It's all her friend's idea to surprise her. So she'll be here until I think Tuesday we're going to take her home. So Lilia's upstairs getting dressed. She thinks we're just doing nothing today. But at one o'clock there'll be a knock on the door and it's going to be her friend. So it's all very exciting and I hope she gets a lovely surprise. <laughs> As you can see, I've got quite a little a red nose under here. I have done my best to cover it up. Um, but unfortunately, I think I've got tissue burn from blowing my nose so much. So as well as feeling hideous, I now look hideous as well. Also, I can't hear very well through my ears. <laughs> well, I don't know where else you'd hear, hear through. <laughs> but I can't hear very well. I think I'm all bunged up. Um, so I'm looking forward to another cup of tea and a bacon sandwich uh, before all the madness of the afternoon begins. And yeah, I just want to say thank you again to everyone that's watching and leaving comments and just sticking with me throughout this very snotty week. <laughs> oh, and I must say as well, I didn't get... So last night we got home at about half 11 and I had to edit um, just the short vlog that I did yesterday. And then while it was transferring to the computer, I thought, oh, I'll just watch five minutes of a Vlogtober. Um, so I tuned in to Tommy's Vlogtober. She is Squirrel Pie Productions. You've probably heard of her. Um, you should definitely hop over and check out her channel. She is way cooler than me. <laughs> you probably won't come back. Um, but she had a Vlogtober yesterday, so it must have been her day 18 or 19. And um, you have to go and watch it. It's all about Merlin, the cat. And what turned into me watching a vlog type of five minutes turned into me staying up till one in the morning to find out what happened in the saga of Merlin the cat. Um, if you want some Vlogtober gold, go over to Tommy's channel and check out that, um, that episode, that day, whatever you want to call it, that Vlogtober episode. <laughs> right, I'm going to go down and make another cup of tea. <laughs> alone in the house um feet lilia's friend arrived and she was really surprised and um dan has taken uh, so they've gone out for a walk and to go to the park and and just catch up a bit and um uh her friend's mum has now headed off home and dan has taken phoebe to the local toy shop to spend some of her pocket money and i i'm trying to decide between answering the phone <laughs> One second. It was Dan calling me from his car to tell me, tell me that my car has been unlocked all night. And in the process of going through to answer the phone, I've just found some, oh, sorry for that extreme close up. <laughs> I've just found some very um, 
dirty looking finger marks on my mantelpiece, which I hope will come off. Our mantelpiece is possibly the worst choice ever. It's a limestone and it's incredibly hard to keep clean. Right, fortunately that did come off though. So I'm trying to decide between sitting on the sofa and continuing to knit my Halloween socks and making a cake because I have this um, bird's custard powder. Now, um, I, I don't know why I buy this because I always seem to have a ton of this left over that I need to use up. And the reason I know that this is something that I do quite often is because I seem to remember making a cake previously that used custard powder and I couldn't find it in any of my recipe books. So I went and looked at my old blog, which I used to keep many moons ago. And sure enough, I did a whole blog post about making the Nigella birthday custard sponge. This is the book, Feast, and the recipe is the birthday, this is gonna be really hard to hold up, the birthday custard sponge. And it uses up birds custard powder. Um, it has a buttercream filling which involves icing sugar. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough icing sugar, but I could ask Dan to pick some up since at the shops. Yes, I'll do that. So I think I might make a cake and then go knit because then we'll have cake to eat. Hmm. <laughs> We are now going to watch Strictly because obviously we were out last night and we didn't get a chance to. So um, having made my cake and everyone's back, whoops, we are now going to watch Strictly from last night. It's about half past seven. We've just finished our roast dinner. The girls, um, Lily and her friend are upstairs getting themselves all settled in. Phoebe's in the bath. Everyone um, is full up, except the kids will probably be asking for stuff again in 10 minutes. I've got stock on the stove. Um, we had a roast chicken, so I'm just boiling up all the bones and that, and I'll make a stock and then I will 
use the leftover vegetables to make um, soup for the freezer so that we can have that um, whenever we fancy. It's really good for lunches and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's been quite a lazy day. Um, we've had the odd little thing um, to raise anxiety, my anxiety levels. But the less said about that, the better. And it has been a really nice day. I'm still feeling so snotty um, and bunged up. I do feel a little bit better. Like I got involved in uh, cleaning up a bit, but then I had to lie down. <laughs> I went and put petrol in my car. Um, but then I had to have a little sit down. Dan cooked dinner and I was so grateful for it because I couldn't face the idea of cooking and dealing with food. I did eat, but I didn't eat much. Um, I do have an appetite, just a small one. I'm just a bit bored now with going on about it, to be honest. I do apologise, it's not very entertaining, is it? No, I made a cake, so that's quite good. And I've knit some on my socks. I've done the heel flap of my second Halloween sock. Just gonna turn the heel tonight well, I might do it in the morning when I can concentrate a bit better and um, and then I can get started on the next project. I'm really glad that I went through all the whips earlier in this vlog series. I can't remember which day I did it, but um, I'm really glad that I did because it really made me concentrate and decide what I was going to work on and so on. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's watching and commenting and wishing me well <laughs> with my cold and um, all the positivity that you're sending my way. I really do appreciate it and I don't feel I say that enough and I know a lot of you say thank you to me for doing the videos but really it's thank you to you because you give me the encouragement to do it and you're always so lovely um, and it's my hobby. I enjoy making the videos and the fact that you react so well to them gives me an enormous sense of um, pleasure so thank you to you not to me to you um, and thank you for commenting and watching and liking and spreading the word um, I really really cannot put into words how much I appreciate it um, we're gonna watch the Strictly Results show all together in a minute but this is probably the last chance I'll have to sit and talk to you so um, have a lovely Sunday evening and I will see you tomorrow for Monday the 21st of October good night <laughs>